standing here today in front of my soda pop bottle fence garden. Things have started sprouting up. I'm very excited. We'll start at the bottom here with our Mr. P. See some flowers on that right there. Just lovely. I've tied a string up to the rung here. And that right now is just, you can see that clothespin to the material, not to the jug itself. It's doing quite well. We've had some rain, but it seems to be surviving quite nicely. I moved a pot that wasn't doing very well right down to here, because I can use that space. I did do a little bit of a shuffle because these are growing in so huge. It's the flax seed that we got from the grocery store. Can you believe that? Nice and water in there still. When was that planted? May 1st. Look at that growth on there. It's so lovely. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Dill, May 1st. Oh, it's looking a little thirsty. Hey, cool. Look at that. You can see the roots right in the bottom there. Let me zoom in on that a little bit for you. So this one needs more water, definitely. Those roots have reached all the way down to drink it all up, even though we have a wick in there. Very thirsty plant. But this is quite easy to check on. The roots are crazy in there. Look at that. See, I just kind of pop that in and out. I'm going to give this a water. Oh, the wicking string isn't looking like it's settled itself in the best placement. That's why those roots are going crazy. All right. Let's see if I can get this good shot of this for you. has been a while since I checked these because we have had a lot of rain. It goes through quite easily. I think I might even add a little bit more dirt to that. It's looking a little low. But these guys get quite thirsty, so I'm going to top it right up. Oh, <laughs> it's going down the side there. That's really cool. Those roots will get a nice thirsty drink. Let's see what I have for dirt on hand. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Adding some dirt from the bucket. Those look a little happier now. A little more dirt in there to help them out. That's the dill. It's beautiful. It's going to grow really tall, so that's why I moved it down here to the bottom with our flax. Just like that, pops it right back in. And I'm expecting that to grow past the middle layer, so I haven't stuck any bottles in there so that these guys can just grow up, 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 have their way, have the space that they need. This, I believe is the chamomile I planted in here, yes. Still enough water in there. Soil's nice and moist. It's doing quite well. There's that little purple opal basil, trucking along. It's gonna be in my cooking pot one day. Add some nice flavor to a sauce. No friends yet, but that's okay too. This is my parsley. Finally starting to show some true leaves on there. 
Yeah, it looks like it can use a little bit more water. So I do keep a bucket of water out to help it dechlorinate so I can water the plants. And I just dip my water jug in it. The dog drinks out of it. The plants drink out of it. It's handy. Saves so getting the hose out every time. So that looks pretty good. And that was planted on May 1st. And this is the cilantro. Look at that. How exciting is that? Nice, lovely, lovely smell. Look how the water levels are doing in that. Oh. The book seems to be in a good place for that one. It's just a thirsty plant. It looks like it can use some more dirt too. Here we go. Do, do, do. To do. All right. This is all extra space because we weren't planning on putting a garden onto the fence. So everything that kind of grows there is a bonus. Things are doing quite well. It's a very hot and sunny location. Give that a water down. Let the dirt settle. I love parsley and cilantro together. The flavors are just so lovely. It's taking a lot more time to get down through the dirt. I think there's a lot more dirt there than the dill. And also I think the dill roots are a lot more dense than the cilantro roots right now. And this is the one that started off looking like the whole coriander seed. So I'm really expecting this one to to sprout off of the tea table. That's looking pretty good. And I like to bring them out to a flat surface sometimes to water them too, otherwise they get a little slopey being in the holder on the fence. Weight disbursements and such. There's a pill bug stuck in my roots. Silly thing. So that'll be just fine. Easy garden, doing well, easy to maintain, easy to water, using space, you probably normally wouldn't put a garden in. So there is an update, beginning of June, definitely keep you posted, I can't wait to see what we can harvest off of this. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, happy gardening.